Hey, hey y'all. So if you watched my video, uh, my live in my group, um, you know that I switched from past gallery over to CloudSpot. There are a million reasons why I switched to CloudSpot, but in all honesty, if I really break it down, um, the biggest one is because of user friendliness. So not only is it easier for me on the back end to do things, um, but it's also easier for my clients as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly um, how I use CloudSpot to upsell my galleries. I know I explained it on my live, but if you are anything like me, I am a visual person. I have to show you what it looks like um, and you have to show me what it looks like for me to get it. So if you are a visual person, this is the video for you um, and I am going to show you exactly how I do this, okay? so. Real quick, back end, my mini sessions, um, I give galleries between 25 and 35 images for them to choose from. So um, they'll get 10 images for free and sometimes I give them 25 and sometimes I give them 35. It really just depends on how many images that we ended up getting that were like just one of those things like I can't pass this picture up for them. So. The re so because I do that, I have different um, collections and everything, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. First, this is how the galleries look on your end um, and all your collections. So they call them collections, which I love. Um, they don't call them galleries. They call them collections. And there are so many awesome features that CloudSpot um, does with these, but I'm not going to show you everything that it does. I'm literally just going to show you how I use this for my mini sessions. If you are interested in um, CloudSpot, I have a 50% off code that I will link above this video. Um, click on that and you get CloudSpot for 50% off for an entire year. Whether you choose to pay the yearly um, payment or the monthly payment, you get 50% off for a whole year um, of whatever plan that you choose, okay? So, um, and they will definitely help and walk you through how to um, do CloudSpot. Their support staff is absolutely amazing, okay? So let's go ahead and get into how I would use um, CloudSpot for mini sessions, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and come over here to store. And we're gonna go ahead and go over to catalogs. So this right here, um, I'm going to walk you through uh, creating a catalog, but this is to help you out with um, what you offer in your um, shop. So you can actually pick different shops for each gallery. So for example, my normal galleries where they get all of their images and everything, I don't need to show digital downloads. I don't need to offer that as an option because they get all the out, they get all the digitals. So my default doesn't allow for that. Okay. But then my minis do allow for that. So let me go ahead and show you how I would do this. Okay. So first we're going to name our catalog. So the name of this is going to be, um, we'll just do mini example, okay? And we'll pretend like this is the gallery with 25 images in it, all right? And so we are going to choose um, which lab we want this to be. I just choose White House. And, or if you wanna do Miller's, you can definitely do Miller's, okay? I wouldn't recommend Impix. And then um, we are going to have, like if you wanna do a minimum order amount, you can do that here, um, you don't have to, okay? And um, then come down here. Uh, we are not gonna make it our default because this is just gonna be for our mini sessions. And then approve orders before fulfillment. We want to do this, uh, or I like to do this. The reason why I like to do this is because if they choose um, to do a eight by 10 um, of a picture, I wanna make sure I go in there and make sure that the heads aren't cut off or feet aren't cut off. So I like to approve them and I give myself a two day window to approve, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and create. And this is what the shop looks like. So you have all your prints, you have your wall art, you have your albums, and then these are the cards. So you can um, ha have these available if you would like for your clients. But then what we can do is we can add product and we can add a digital download. So now these digital downloads, um, we can either do a single or all the, all the pictures. So let's go ahead and say that we're gonna do a single download. So we're gonna do um, one um, image. And we are going to have the price of that. Let's say it's gonna be $25 per image, okay? So $25 per download. So each image is $25, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna add another digital download. And this time we're gonna do all photos and we're gonna say um, entire gallery, all right? This is where we need to figure out our pricing. 
So if we have 25 images in this gallery, and we are saying that each image is $25, that's $625 for the entire gallery, okay? And we are trying to figure out all of the images because the 10 free images are gonna come later. I'm gonna explain that later. Right now, we have to figure out how much the entire gallery is worth. And if we're doing $25 for each download or for each image, that means 25 images at $25 a piece would be $625. Now you can make it 625, or if you're anything like me, I like to give a discount. So I would probably do $600. Oops, not negative 600, 600, okay? And then I'm going to save that. And now if you notice, the digital downloads are all the way at the bottom. So I would go ahead and actually move this section up and move it all the way up so it's at the top, okay? Then we're gonna come down here to discount codes, okay? And we are going to add a discount and we're going to name this. So I'm gonna say mini session example, because this is my example. And then we're going to give this a code, okay? So we're gonna say mini, and then we'll just say example, okay? Apply discount to digital sales only. And now this discount code is going to give them their free images. So for example, if your, um, if your mini sessions comes with five images, okay, what we're going to do is do five times 25, and that would be 125, okay? If your, if your mini sessions comes with 10 free images, you're gonna times 25 because remember it's $25 for each of your digitals times 10. All right. So let's, we're just going to say that it is 10 images for free. So you're going to get $250 off of your digital files. Um, minimum order. We want to make sure it's 250. So that way they download all of their digitals at one time. We don't want one file at a time. Okay. And then max number of uses is one. This is very important. Make sure you do this because if you do in unlimited, that means that they can continue using this discount code. We only want them to be able to do this one time, okay? And then you can have a code expiration if you want. I won't do that, okay? So then we're gonna save this, okay? So then what we've done now is we've set up our shop um, for mini sessions and we've set up the discount code, okay? So now we're gonna come back over to our gallery, our collections, and we're gonna pick a host. I'm gonna choose them because they have 34 images. So again, I give anywhere between 25 and 35 images. Um, I don't sit there and say like, you know, yeah, anyways, that's what I do. Um, works for my business. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to publish and we're going to publish the gallery and it's gonna come up with this option. And this is what's really cool, guys. You can have so much customization here. Like this is what gets me excited. I love this because it can it can really make me feel like um, this is my gallery for my clients and it just works so well with me. So what we're going to do here is um, you can name the gallery, custom URL, um, and this is what's going to be showing, like mine says your gallery, and then we're going to create a cover for it, okay? So this is where you can pick whatever cover you want. Um, I personally like this one. And then you can actually change the position so I can make it so their feet aren't, oh, just kidding. Oh, I think I cut off their feet anyways. Okay, so mobile, um, I can change the position and change it so that way they're actually in there. Perfect, just like that. All right, and then I can change the layout. So I personally like the, um, you can do large co columns if you want, you can do rows if you want. So if you do rows, that means your um, landscape pictures are going to be really big. If you do the columns, your landscape pictures are just going to be like little squares and your portrait ones are going to be long. Okay. Um, you can choose to have it a dark themed or a light themed. Honestly, like light works well for me. Um, you can take off the image file names if you would like. Okay. Um, a call to action button is a, something at the very bottom. I'm not going to really go in depth with this one real quick, but like just a real quick thing. Um, this is where I am going to put in like, you know, love your album, leave me a review and then a button to leave, to go straight to my Google account to leave me a review. Okay. Um, so I'm actually going to turn this off right now. 
and then we're going to go over to download. We are not going to enable downloads for our mini sessions because that means they would be able to download everything. We don't want them to do that. Then we're going to come over here to sales and we're going to enable the sales store. And this is where we're going to choose our catalog. So that shop that we set up, right? So because they have 35 images, I'm going to pick my mini 35. Um, and this is where the, um, the full gallery is set up for 35 images. Remember when we did 25 images, we said, oh, it's $600 for the whole gallery. Well, 35 images is going to look a lot different than 25 images, right? So 35 images is like, I think, what, 700 and some dollars? 35 times 25 is $875. So I gave the whole gallery for $800. And um, remember, they get 10 images for free, so they get $250 off of that, okay? So now we're going to do um, coupon codes, and we're just going to do the mini session, okay? So we'll do mini session example. All right, and then we can display a sales banner. This is really cool because it's at the very top of our gallery, it's going to say something. So say, use mini example for your 10 images, 10 free images. And then we'll put like a little shopping cart or you can do like an announcement or whatever that might be, okay? And then we have access. We want to capture all the emails. Um, this is where you can put a password on there. This is where you're going to put your gallery watermarks. So whichever one you want for your watermarks um, and this, if you want them, your watermarks on your downloaded images too, you can do that. I wouldn't suggest doing that for your um, clients because we don't want our watermark on their stuff. Um, this is where you can put an expiration date for the gallery if you wanted to do that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and publish it. So now what we can do is we can copy this link. All right. So he, from here, we can email our clients. So you can email them and everything. And you have like the little email that says like, um, you have the email that says, um, you know, here's the code, everything like that. If you are in my mini session course, I will give you an email template for that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and copy the link and we're going to, or sorry, we're going to go ahead and view this so you can you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open the gallery. It's going to ask me for my stuff. And so you can see this is, look, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, are you kidding me? This is my brand color right here. These are my brand colors. This is me. Like, and if you look, um, if I had the URL up here, it doesn't say CloudSpot anywhere in the URL. It literally says Ashley Ammons Photography, Client Gallery slash Brown Family. Like, this is amazing. So anyways, um, here we are, and this is the gallery and everything. This is what it's going to look like for them. And again, it says use mini example for your 10 free images. So when they go up here to shop, they can do um, download all of their images. for. And look, it shows their images. Look at this. This is my favorite part of this. It literally shows their images in here. And it has my watermark. Like, look at this, y'all. Are you kidding me? absolutely amazing. So they can actually see what it looks like. Um, and again, like if they go to canvases, it has a little um, desk here so they can actually see what the size would look like. So this is, would be an eight by eight, but if they click on 30 by 40, they can see what the ratio is. Like how amazing. Okay. So um, if they wanted to go ahead and mini example, we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to do our single digital downloads. Okay. Um, and we are going to say, um, these are all the pictures or whatever. What they can also do is they can like, I'm not gonna do this because this is actually a client of mine, but they can heart all of their stuff. So if they heart a bunch of these and they say shop now, um, and then they say, we wanna do digitals and it says all photos, it would actually have like another drop down menu and says your favorites. And so they have like all of those images in there. So they can like add to cart, add to cart, add to cart whatever, so if they're doing all of these, I'll just do these 10. Okay, and then we would go ahead, so instead of $250, make sure all this is on, proceed to checkout, and they would put all of their billing information in, continue, all right, and then this is where they're going to apply the discount code, okay? So they would say, mini example, apply. 
total off. Perfect. Place order and they can download all of them. Okay. So that is the way that I am going to be doing this because once they get to this point, once they're like already in the checkout and everything, they are more likely to add more stuff to their cart. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. Look at this y'all. And you can change this too. You can change this top. You can have it like just an image of yours or whatever you want it to be. You can change all of this. Everything's customizable. So super easy. Um, if you didn't want it to do it that way and you would rather have them just have like, you know, favorite their 10 and then you have the access, give them access to download those, then you can definitely do that as well. Um, like I said, the support staff is so good at um, CloudSpot. You can ask them literally anything and they are there to help you. Um, so if we come over here, like there's a little chat box right here, right here. And they like, they respond so quickly. It's so amazing. Um, they really take pride in their support staff. That is something that is very, very important to them. Um, just another reason why I switched over because y'all know how much I care about supporting you guys as much as I can in your business. And um, the people at CloudSpot, that is something extremely important to them as well. They want to be able to support you in every way possible. And um, that was something that really lined up with the both of us. And, um, you know, I don't promote things to a lot of people um, unless I feel like their values line up with my values. And CloudSpot is definitely one of those. I'm super excited. I'm excited about the things that are going to come um, because they listen to us. They listen to photographers and what our needs are and everything. Um, so I'm just, I'm super excited to see what this brings for us. And um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out.